Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I wanted to talk to you about travel bars. And the travel bar I have set up here on the table is actually what I would consider the kind of the pinnacle of a travel bar that you might be able to get your hands on. And the reason for that is a variety of things, but I want to kind of break it down one by one. So you'll see here in the back that we have a box. And let me just move this a little bit out of the way. This is the original retail box. It's very difficult to find a travel bar that's still in its original retail box. But you can see the interesting, even for that period of time, vintage advertising that they had on it. So the other thing that makes this particular set unusual is you've got right here They've tucked in this flyer for the um, travel bar and I'll try and get this open, but um, it's just a liquor bottle, but it's also an advertiser and it kind of gives you a visual demonstration of what these slots are for. And sometimes they'll come with advertisers in each of the slots, not just the one. So you've got that and uh, down here on the table, I've got a few other little goodies that came in this particular travel box. This one is a very fun, vintage, uh, basically a little booklet with bar recipes. It's got some advertising in here. It's got some pretty fun, vintage looking photographs that are clearly older than anything we would have now. You can see kind of the 60s, 70s vibe all over this thing. So that's kind of fun when you get like a period uh, accessory to go with something. We also have, interestingly enough, somebody left their receipt for this purchase in the travel bar. And then there's also a couple of these little hang tags that would have gone on this travel bar if someone had set it up as a display. So basically this particular travel bar came with all of the various extras that you could hope to get in a travel bar. Another thing that we sometimes see in travel bars after they've been used is people will leave behind little goodies that they added to the travel bar. This is not an original piece, but clearly somebody thought they might need it if they opened, I guess, a wine bottle and then didn't want to have to reseal it. Then they put this in there. I don't actually think it got used, but sometimes they leave behind their extra stuff that doesn't really go with the travel bar. So. What I wanted to share about this travel bar generally is um, items like this date as far back as the 60s. I've been going through old Sears catalogs and starting in the 60s, you see these popping up in the catalog pages. So some of them are that old. Then it continues on through the 70s. And then somewhere in the 80s, they did continue making, I guess I would consider more upscale ones more more companies got in on the action and tried to add their own touch to the whole idea. But the vast majority of what you will see will be this company right here. This is an Everwear travel bar. And you can see right here on the this little brochure that uh, they kind of have their own uh, sort of stamp um, they're just they're not calling it a travel bar. It's a travel bar So there's that and it was made by a company called everywhere and I would say eight out of ten of the travel bars you see are going to look like this They're going to have this hard suitcase which was at the time designed to look like a briefcase or a typewriter case so the thinking behind this whole setup is that let me move these aside so you can see the outside of them. You've got right here this little badge here, and they wanted it to look inconspicuous. So they made it look like a briefcase. Because I'm assuming they, you know, didn't want um, executives to be advertising that they were taking booze on a business trip. So they gave you a way to be kind of sneaky about it. And uh, inside very typically this side will have the barware that they've provided. Um, usually in a large case like this, you've got four cups and two shot glasses. 
a bottle opener, a stir spoon. Sometimes there's a tray in the middle, sometimes there's not. And then over here on this side, you've got three spots where you can tuck in different types of liquor to take with you. So this side will normally be empty or this is where they put in the advertising if, if you happen to find one that has that. So the idea here was that you would fill this up with whatever you wanted. You would take it on trips. No one else would know that you were bringing booze with you. And then when you got there, you could have a little built-in mini party. Um, and so it may have been intended that you take this with you to make mixed drinks, but I'm sure the average person didn't actually use that because they already had their favorites and knew how to make them. So, as I said, this would be kind of the high end of a travel bar. And I do have a couple of examples that I will add to this video of other types of travel bars just to give an idea of the general range of products available out there. But this is the largest that they made with room for three liquor bottles in it. There's a smaller version that holds two li liquor bottles. Um, and if you're out on the hunt and you want to find one of these vintage travel bars, it's not all that difficult, but to find one that comes with the box and with some of this type of um, advertiser type material is a little more challenging. So if you actually happen to spot one that has some of these extras, it's worth uh, another look at to pick it up and have the, you know, the extra goodies that go with it. So I hope you learned something about travel bars today and I thank you for watching.